I'm running late because of traffic for some reason we had to take the Williamsburg Bridge so that sucked because there was literally standstill traffic some LA traffic thing going on here I don't know why it's three o'clock like rush hour in New York has turned into all day seriously all day traffic it's there's no such thing as rush hour anymore it's not five o'clock six o'clock Rush hour now begins at 2 o'clock and ends at about 8. And yet there will still be traffic at 9. And I'm trying to move to Florida where everyone just drives. There's going to be more traffic there. But I feel like Florida there isn't much traffic. Every time I go, because the highways have so many lanes, there's just literally not that much traffic. Here it's a combination of streets, highways, freeways, and I'm going to show you the traffic. This is coming back from Brooklyn. All of these cars just waiting and we're moving and they're not so pretty much that's that's the New York that's the New York life is just sitting in the car in traffic and always late I'm always in a rush so my oh my glasses are so dirty so right now I'm heading to a hotel to do makeup this is probably the scariest bridge to drive on because look at it you're right next to the water and right next to the train. The train actually goes right there. Hopefully we get to see one right now, but what train is that? I think that's the Q train. It goes to like Coney Island and Brighton Beach in Brooklyn. That's the view. I mean, I love New York for the view, but it gets tiring living in this city. I'm editing and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the hotel. Hi guys, we're with, we're with, I'm we're with, with. <laughs> I'm with Char Char, Charlene, look at her makeup, fine, let me see that highlight though, hey, <laughs> we are on our way to Marie's house because we're going to go to White Plains Mall, because I need to go to Nordstrom because I do not like dogs, they are so uncomfortable for me, the bow like is just so uncomfortable and some Sephora, but there's some, some things there, so I'll take you guys along. You have to say anything, Charlene? Not really. No. You hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay. Your new friend is in close proximity. Oh, new boy. <laughs> The bill is coming. Someone is admiring you from afar and wishes for friendship. You Wait, what is it? Friendship? Someone from afar who? It says someone is admiring you from afar and wishes for friendship. Are you wishing it's for me. friendship? It's me. It's me. Good morning. It is currently 7.57 in the morning. Um, I am getting ready. Well, I'm on my way to a wedding that I'm doing. So I have a assistant MUA helping me out. It's actually my brother's girlfriend. She works at a Mac store, so she's, I think, already there. We have a whole bunch of curls to do, so I think it's seven total uh, bridesmaids and just regular, and then one bride. So what we're trying to do is four and four. I'll do a bride and three girls, and then she'll do four girls. But usually, since we have to be ready, well, they have to be ready by 12, and we're starting at 8 30 that leaves us barely any room with me because i like to take my time with brides i like to take an hour and a half but it's not really giving me time because regular makeup is about an hour but when i'm doing weddings i try to cut it down to about 45 minutes because it's a super simple look no wing liner usually bridesmaids usually have a really simple daytime natural and soft look which takes 30 minutes 45 minutes so that's what i'm hoping that's the look that they want I already did a trial with the bride, so I already know what she wants. Um, I brought the iconic lashes, which is what 
she wore in the trial. She loved them. She just likes like a bronzy, warm, tan look. She's very tan. She likes to look really bright under her eyes. So that's what we're gonna be doing. It's really hard to take you guys along while I'm doing the makeup because there's barely any time for me to sit down. Barely any time for me to drink something. So there's really no time to just like whip out my camera and start filming. I try to just get a couple before and after pictures, but even that, sometimes I like, pinch myself later because I kind of feel like I need more time. I know my friend Diana, Makeup by Diana, she told me she takes an hour and a half even when doing regular makeup application. And when I'm talking about regular, I'm basically saying non-wedding. So even if you're going to a party or it's your birthday or graduation look and you go to her, she tells you to schedule out an hour and a half for your makeup because it's true, an hour is for the makeup, but 30 minutes extra for talking, you know, you leave room for talking, you have room to clean up a little bit, um, or let's say they want to change something, like you just never know. It takes exactly an hour, so to give yourself exactly an hour isn't really smart because there's always something that comes up. And you want to take really good before and after pictures because that's your portfolio, that's what people are seeing, and that's what they're going to go by. So I do, starting in the new year, want to kind of set that up where it's going to take a little longer. Brides will probably be like two hours and regular an hour and a half. So that's that. I uh, wore the Cover FX Natural Foundation today. It's a cream foundation. I kind of like it. Um, in person, it looks really good. It looks really, really natural, I would say. Uh, my forehead right around here is very dry. I don't know if it's because I do that, like I frown, but it just always looks cakey in between my eyebrows no matter what foundation i've ever used it's never moisturized there and i guess it's because when i do moisturize my face i just apply it on my cheeks and really never in between my my eyebrows so i really need to be more aware of that um and, and start doing that because I, I really don't like how foundation looks on my forehead it's been breaking out and it has a lot of bumps that's because i haven't been drinking enough water my skin clears so fast. Sorry, there's like all these shadows when I'm drinking a lot, a lot of water. All right, so we're gonna put some music on and we are heading to Howard Beach. So it says we're 16 minutes away, which is perfect because I can grab some Starbucks or Dunkin' or whatever, need something to eat and drink. I always recommend bringing a drink too, like have at least two bottles of water with you just in case, you know, they don't supply you with that. And then also just bringing like, a nice coffee or a nice tea because when you're moving that quick you need something to just kind of quickly sip and then get right back to work sometimes even drinking water takes too long because you have to open the bottle like i'm talking about we we go quick like there's just a sip and you go you don't sit down you just keep it moving and it's, it's very high intensity energy that you have to have so I'm kind of reserving my energy right now and just relaxing it's gonna be a long one and then after that I have another appointment I'll try to do as much uh, video like before and after as that I can but it's super hard like I said all right so I will see you guys in a few and